who came to us today with a brisk vaginal bleed and acutely accumulating fluid in the abdomen because of a huge ascites. So we evaluated the patient and we found that the patient is having a Burchieri syndrome. Burchieri syndrome is basically because of occlusion of the hepatic veins and or IBC, the intrahepatic portion of the IBC. That's called a Burchieri syndrome. Now because of Burchieri syndrome, there is a huge portal hypertension which has led to accumulation of a lot of fluid in the abdomen. Now we are going to treat this patient today. The first thing that we have to address about the patient is the brisk vaginal bleed which is there for a couple of days and the hemoglobin has come down to 8.5 uh, and then we first address this problem of vaginal bleed by bilateral intraguntary embolization and once we have done with that then we will go ahead with treating the Burcheri syndrome with the tips that is a transcircular intrahepatic polysystemic sun if we find a hepatic vein or if we don't find a hepatic vein we will do a tips that is a direct intrahepatic systemic sun and we will connect uh, the portal vein to the IBC reducing the pressure which is going to help the patient uh, with this portal hypertension. On the right transfemoral arterial route and crossed over to the other side from the aortic uh, bifurcation and went into the internal iliac artery and the anterior division of internal iliac artery into the uterine artery and we did the angiogram which is showing uh, there's a huge blast coming out of it and we embolized uh, this particular blast. This is a post embolization we can see the abnormal uterine blast from the left uterine artery is gone the embolization was done with a PVA particle polyvinyl alcohol particle which has gone inside the blast and occluded completely. Now the strategy is to go to the other side of the urine artery and then embolize. Now we have come to the uterine artery on the right side using a Robertson's urine catheter from the same puncture and the angiogram demonstrates uh, abnormal blast from the right uterine artery and similarly we have embolized uh, this right uterine artery blast with PVA particles. This is the post embolization right uterine artery. We can see the abnormal, abnormal blast is gone and the rest of the vessels are looking nice. Uh, so we will stop here as far as the parvisional bleed is concerned that is going to stop with this bilateral intern, uh, the bilateral uterine artery embolization. And then we will think of uh, the Burcheri syndrome which is uh, to be treated by TIPS or a TIPS. One into the supramesentric artery and take a superior mesentric arterial run into the capillary phase and the venous phase we take a prolonged run and we try to locate the portal vein so that we can understand the anatomy of the portal vein and its bifurcation as it is so that we can target the portal vein from the intra uh, through the jugular route basically and here we can see this, uh, this is the main portal vein and this is the bifurcation of the portal vein and the, the right branch and the left branch so our target will be to come here into the right branch and then you know put a stent across uh, the system that is what uh, we are going to do. So now we have taken a jugular approach uh, meanwhile and, and uh, we have put two markers basically this is the bifurcation of the portal vein which we have seen from the supramesentric arterial uh, run into the venous phase and this is where I want to enter because uh, uh, this is uh, where because we don't have a hepatic vein here I directly want to enter the liver so if we are entering the liver from a little above and uh, the laterally here then you have a slope which is acceptable because if the entry is further down then it's very difficult to you know navigate into the portal vein and put a stand so I decided to go from this area and come down and then then approach the portal vein. Here we can see that we have uh, just accessed the portal vein and uh, we can see the portal vein very clearly. We'll try to access into that and uh, see how things go from here. So here we are trying to put a foot in wire which is uh, just going uh, down the main portal vein 
and uh, this is our target basically uh, we could nicely place our wire all the way down from the main portal vein down to the super mesenteric vein here and uh, we're quite happy with the excess then we have uh, pushed in a four french catheter and the angiography is demonstrates a nice portal venous excess over here Then we navigate a marking pigtail to understand the size of stent that we will be putting in. Now we dilate the track with a dilatation of the track so that our stent navigates freely and uh, we can see the nice expansion of the balloon with uh, creating a beautiful track from the portal vein into the IVC right away for the dilatation of the track all the way near into the IVC basically and then we can see that uh, uh, our seat can be pushed in the pore vein now we are delivering a stent the Saniti stent 10 into 100 the 2 cm of it is bare and 8 cm is uh, graft then we take a check angiogram. Uh, it looks good, but not so good because uh, we need to do a post dilatation. So now we are dilating the stent. That's a post stent angioplasty. That is basically the junction of the pearl vein and the liver substance. And we can see there is a tight stenosis which is opening up nicely. And looks better now and then dilatation of the entire stent has to be done to ensure that the stent is well opposed and open nicely and uh, this is the towards the proximal end of the stent and uh, then dilating the entire stent over here so we can see that uh, the flow is much better but uh, there is a tight stenosis over here so that need to be addressed. So this is the stenosis at the proximal end of the stand and uh, that need to be addressed. There is a stenotic segment over here. So we tried the balloon but that didn't yield so we put another stent inside which is taking care of this uh, segment over here and the flow is now much much better for free here and this is uh, finally what we achieved uh, this injection of the pore vein which is demonstrating a beautiful flow and reducing the pore pressure significantly thank you very much